I mean, I think two years ago, and it's quite something that we're now in this position, two years ago, it's a very, very significant majority. He, you know, he, he reached part of the country, parts of the country that no conservative leader has reached before. And I think that is a credit to him and to his personality and to how he led that campaign. But campaigning and governing are two very different things. And he already has made changes. It was a reshuffle not so long ago. The post-Dominic uh, Cummings era, he brought new people in. And that was a moment when we thought, well, there would now be a reset and we would get on with a slightly different agenda, but it feels like we've slipped back into this, let's just make this decision and not really think it through, which has been damaging. Um, and I think going forward, what we really need to see is, yes, there have been some successes, the vaccine rollout, uh, the way the government has dealt with that and has uh, fast-tracked all of that. And of course, you know, his supporters will talk about, point back to Brexit, point back to the red wall but these are not things that you can always dine out on you have to look forward and think well what is the thing that is going to attract voters in the next election what is the thing that mps are going to talk about and the government is going to point to and it can't be this um latest scandals from number 10 and it can't be we weren't entirely transparent with you a few months ago when we said this and now actually the situation is much worse because People want uh, the government to do things that will improve their lives. And the government can't really do that if it's still living under the shadow of this ongoing saga and these ongoing investigations.